Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands. The city with its charming canals attracts millions of tourists every year. But what does Amsterdam have to offer beyond the typical travel guide recommendations? We're asking locals for insider tips in the hope of experiencing a unique day. Let's go. Warren Gregory is famous for his brightly colored flower bicycles. Does he have a tip for us? Man, that's too many. <laughs> a Spiegelgrat, you know, that's a good one. Spiegel, you start there, because then you can get lost from there. You really can get lost. We set off along the many canals and bridges, of which there are more than 1,200 in Amsterdam. Arriving at Spiegelgracht, we're a bit disappointed. It's another canal. But we do spot one of Warren Gregory's bicycles. From here, we continue our search for the city's hidden treasures. Our next tip comes from Aaron Dell, who moved to Amsterdam. If someone is in Amsterdam for a day, I would definitely head to the Vondel Park. It's an amazing place to experience the quiet magic of Amsterdam. You'll find people who are biking here, who are walking, who are exercising, who are sitting. You'll just find people being. Vondel Park is Amsterdam's green lung and probably the most famous park in the Netherlands. The 47 hectare site has something for everyone. The park is named after the poet and playwright Joost van den Vondel. Another eye-catcher is the Fondel Park Pavilion. It's the lowest point in Amsterdam. Next, we meet Bertus Holleman, who has many favorites. There's another favorite spot, and that is a building designed by Hendrik de Keizer. And that is the Westerkerk. And the Westerkerk is the first Protestant church for that purpose, the largest at that time in Europe. And it's... Uh, uh, um, uh, recently renovated, almost finished. Do visit Westerkerk because it's a marvelous building. Amsterdam's highest church tower guides us to the Westerkerk. The interior is strikingly bright thanks to the church's 36 large windows. Many national celebrities are buried in the Westerkerk. Among them is the world-famous Baroque painter Rembrandt. It's time for a snack, but where? If I am hungry, uh, I'll probably get a snack from the wall. It's one of the most excessive, uh, most of the one delicious and diverse snacks that you can find around the city center and basically all over ne the Netherlands. A snack from the wall. Michael Schmidt is talking about Febo, a fast food chain with vending machines that contain fresh and hot food. Febo has been around for more than 70 years and enjoys cult status. Press the button. You take out your snack. This is a casoufle, by the way. It's uh, filled with malted cheese because uh, we in the Netherlands like cheese a lot. So, um, yeah, very easy to eat. But you have to be, be careful because you can burn your mouth quickly. Our Amsterdammer guides helped us have a wonderful day. And we saw that it's worth getting off the beaten path every now and then. <laughs>